Over Tesla's existence, the company has constantly been relying on Panasonic to manufacture batteries for them, which has proven to be extremely troublesome. Elon Musk has openly stated on Twitter how Panasonic was the only reason why Tesla couldn't ramp up the Model 3 to the company's desired levels. As a result, Tesla has been working on removing their reliance on Panasonic as a way to vertically integrate its business into the battery manufacturing process. In this video, I'm going to go over Tesla's plan to cut off Panasonic. In May of 2019, it was announced that Tesla would officially acquire Maxwell Technologies, a supercapacitor manufacturer with impressive battery technology. This marked the start of Tesla's battery revolution. As at Tesla's annual shareholder meeting, Elon Musk stated that Tesla needed a solution to scale battery production. Yeah, so this is a this is a key question: is we've got to scale battery production um, and match that to uh, vehicle demand. If you guys want to say anything about that, or we don't let the cat out of the bag too much, but you know, still in the bag. I mean, I, I think it's right on. I mean, those are. Yeah exactly the right problems that we need to solve to scale and they have they have been for some time but it's more obvious now than I think it ever was that uh, we, we need a large scale solution to sell production yes and get the cost per kilowatt hour lower and energy density higher yeah and, and, <laughs> and we're not sitting yeah we're not sitting idly by we're taking all the moves required to be masters of our own destiny here uh, technologically and otherwise and I, I think you know through through all the uh, Experience we've developed with partners and otherwise, uh, we, we have a we will we have solutions in place. Yeah. <laughs> At the annual shareholder meeting, Elon Musk also talked about integrating Maxwell's battery cell technologies into their batteries, but hesitated to go into detail. <laughs> Good question. Uh, what aspects of battery production will integration Maxwell Maxwell have? Um, we think this is really quite strategic. Um, but we'll leave the details of this to um, kind of the battery and powertrain investor day. Um, this is, uh, there's some very important technologies there that I think will have a, a big effect on the cost and, and scaling of cell production, uh, both reducing the, the cost and reducing the capital required to scale uh, cell production. Yeah. Anyone add to it? No, right on, okay. absolutely. <laughs> yeah. In September of 2019, the rumors were confirmed when Tesla listed a job for battery cell manufacturing, stating that Tesla is currently seeking a technician for a manufacturing line we are developing. You'll be part of a new product line we are developing. This job was titled Manufacturing Technician and was located in the cell manufacturing portion of Tesla's jobs. In the same month, Jeff Don, Tesla's battery research partner, patented a new million mile battery with the nickel manganese cobalt cathode. One month later, in October of 2019, Tesla acquired Hybar Systems, a company that specialized in building manufacturing equipment for the processes of battery manufacturing. An archived version of Hybar's website states that among Hybar's latest technology offerings are its advanced automated vacuum filling systems for lithium ion battery applications for use in hybrid electric vehicles, computer notebooks, and similar products. In 2018, Hybar was awarded $2 million Canadian dollars from the National Research Council of Canada Industrial Research Assistance Program to build a high-speed lithium-ion battery manufacturing system for the growing market demand of mass electric energy storage solutions. At this point, it seemed like Tesla would slowly begin to manufacture its own batteries. However, in February of 2020, it began to be clear that Tesla was quickly moving forward with its battery manufacturing when Tesla posted a job listing for a pilot production engineer, which stated that Tesla's cell manufacturing engineering group is looking for a highly motivated equipment development engineer to accelerate our next generation battery cell manufacturing program. This role will be involved in the design, development, commissioning, and ramping of high throughput equipment while working in a cross-functional team to test, validate, and roll out processes and product design changes. Tesla also confirmed its plan to produce batteries at its Berlin Gigafactory, with multiple job listings claiming that the employee would be working on a new cell manufacturing expansion. Just two weeks later, sources told Electric about Tesla's secret project codename Roadrunner, which is aiming to allow Tesla to mass produce a new battery cell denser and cheaper than the current batteries produced by Panasonic. These batteries would use Tesla's new battery technologies created by Tesla's battery research team led by Jeff Don, 
which includes a new advanced electrolyte, a nickel manganese cobalt cathode, and a nickel cobalt aluminum electrode, which were all patented within the past 12 months. If you haven't seen my video on the nickel cobalt aluminum electrode, go check that out in the top right of the screen. Along with these groundbreaking discoveries, Tesla would also use Maxwell's dry electrode technology, a technology that would increase the energy density by a massive extent while lowering production costs. If you haven't seen my video that goes deep into dry electro technology, that video is also on the top right of the screen. Now strangely enough, the last place we would expect to get information from, LinkedIn, has been revealing some information about Tesla's upcoming battery manufacturing program. Tesla's research and development engineer, Matthew Moores, asked engineers to come join us and reinvent lithium ion battery cell manufacturing technology. Bonnie Eggleston, senior manager of cell manufacturing at Tesla, also stated that Tesla was developing world-class battery cell manufacturing technologies to enable the next generation of low-cost, high-performance electric vehicles and energy storage products. All of this optimism is well backed by Tesla's recent battery developments unveiled in Tesla's patents. But many of you are probably wondering, what exactly can we look forward to in Tesla's upcoming batteries? There are four essential components that will be revealed on Tesla's Battery Investor Day. The single crystal NMC cathode, the new advanced electrolyte, the NCA electrode, and the dry electrode coating. By going over the specific benefits of each component, we can determine the full list of benefits coming from Tesla's new batteries. The NMC cathode and advanced electrolyte both go hand in hand with each other. As Tesla's battery research partner, Jeff Don, release both of them in the same patent application. Both of these will allow for Tesla's battery cells to last 2-3 to three times longer than Tesla's current battery cells. These components enable Tesla to manufacture their million mile battery. Along with increased lifetime, the cathode and electrolyte will also allow for faster charging speeds. The NCA electrode, according to Electrek, will enable Tesla's batteries to have similar or better energy density than Tesla's current batteries. Last but not least is the dry electrode. This breakthrough in my opinion is the most impactful of them all. The dry electrode coating will allow for significantly higher energy density, greater than 300 watt hours per kilogram and reported in January of 2019 to be on path to 500 watt hours per kilogram. In other words, this would increase the Model 3's range to 450 miles and was reported to be on path to 600 miles of range. Along with higher energy density, Dry electrode coating would also extend the battery life by up to two times more. To top it off, it would also help with safety by improving the durability of the battery while reducing cost by 10 to 20 percent. Additionally, the dry battery electrode will also allow for a 16 times production capacity density increase. Now, in terms of environmental savings, the dry electrode technology will remove solvents from the entire manufacturing process, as Tesla currently uses wet electrode coating. The dry coating also removes the need for cobalt in the coating process. Overall, in terms of vehicle performance, Tesla's new batteries will increase the driving range and battery life while making charging speeds faster compared to Tesla's current vehicles. From a business perspective, the new battery will also benefit Tesla by allowing for higher production capacity while simultaneously lowering costs. In terms of environmental savings, there will be less cobalt and no solvents used. To wrap it all up, Tesla's new batteries will be massively improved from the current batteries manufactured by Panasonic, and this will effectively cut off Panasonic from the battery manufacturing process. This will help Elon Musk's plan to vertically integrate the entire manufacturing process. So, so really, the, one of the key things that happened this year is the, the beginning of the transition of Tesla to a fully integrated sustainable energy company, uh, where um, you have solar uh, creating the energy, uh, then the, the stationary battery pack, the power wall and power pack storing the energy, and then that energy being used in an electric vehicle. Now, the great thing about this is it's, it's, it, it answers all, it, it's a fully, uh, it's a fully contained energy solution that could, could scale for the whole world. And I'm going to um, get into that for a moment. But it's something where you can imagine as far in the future, well, well, well beyond human civilization, which I hope lasts a really long time, um, uh, that, that this is something that, that would last for really, you know, this is, 
this, this works, and, and, and there, I think there are no unanswered questions. Um, you know, even, the, the, even the Giga Factory, or the Giga Factories that, that make these products will be powered by sustainable energy. So like, I, I really don't think there's any um, hole in, left in the argument, uh, you know, because when we're making electric cars, people would say that, well, they're just uh, they're really coal-powered. And, and there's like the long tailpipe, you know, and the root type tailpipe's really over there by the power plant. And we're like, yeah, but you know, we, we're gonna have sustainable energy generation too, um, and, and then, but, but then you can still have gasoline cars. So you've got to have electric cars, sustainable, sustainable energy uh, production, and then you've got to store that energy because the sun don't shine at night. Real simple. One, two, three. <laughs> it's, re it's been amazingly difficult to explain this. <laughs> I'm like, it's only three pictures there, man. <laughs> I mean, come on. <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and subscribe so that I know you guys want to see more videos like this. Also, please consider supporting me on Patreon in the description below. I appreciate your support.